When it comes to COVID-19 cases in the Hoosier State, concern is growing. The state's weekly COVID-19 metrics map was released earlier today. And take a look here. You can see orange and red are dominating. The colors on the map are based on seven day positivity rates and weekly case numbers. These metrics help the state track areas of concern. Red is the worst distinction. Vermilion County has now joined Clay County in being labeled red. As for our other Wabash Valley counties, they are all currently living under the orange label. The Clay County School Board voted four to three last night to put a mass mandate in place at the schools, and now some parents are outraged. News 10's Portia Williams is live at the school district's administrative headquarters where many parents are voicing their concerns. Portia. I am live at the Clay County School Corporation building. Now, some parents told me there was supposed to be protests in here today, but maybe that'll they'll show up a little bit later on. But many of those parents say they just want to exercise their freedom to have a choice in whether or not to mask their child. As we've told you before, Clay County is still in the red, according to the state COVID map. We learned Tuesday evening that masks would be mandated for students in the county. One parent named Erin Moore says her child should have a choice when it comes to wearing masks. She even said if things don't change soon, she is considering taking her children out of the Clay County School District. They're just doing a lot of damage to our kids physically, mentally, psychologically, and I've seen that firsthand. And it's a huge concern to me because I feel as a parent we have the right to choose for our children. I'm all about the masks if you want to wear the mask, but if you don't want to wear a mask, I don't think you should have to wear a mask. Coming up for you at 6, I'll tell you about how one parent decided to take her child out of the public school system. Reporting live in Clay County, Portia Williams, News 10.